In this video, I will show you five things you need to know for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Hi, my name is Daniel. I run this channel. It's all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. We also have a masterclass and there are so many new followers in the last couple of months that came to the channel and I see every day the questions that you guys have. And so I thought about why not make a very important video like today showing you the five most important things because most of the questions people have, and this is, I think it's an algorithm thing. The YouTube algorithm doesn't show you all the things that I already created because I'm in a run right now. I created since Christmas every day a video about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad in English and in Germany. In this video, I will show you the five most important things where we already have a video, but I will also link this in the card and in the description and let's go over those five things. Number one, you see me all the time in DaVinci Resolve that I use the edit page, the fusion page, all those pages that you have on the desktop. And yes, officially, we only have two pages in DaVinci Resolve, but just using shortcuts, so the keyboard shortcuts, and there is a way how you can even get them without having a keyboard. I made two videos, and this is the first ones I wanna show you, how to unlock all pages. So in the description and here in the info card, you will find the video DaVinci Resolve iPad, oh, no, this, not this one, DaVinci Resolve iPad unlock full version here I show you how you can do this. And the same, there's another video, how to do this without a keyboard, because I'm using then my smartphone as a Bluetooth keyboard and then you can access all the pages as well. So if you don't know how to do this and I see this with the questions, then you should watch those two videos that are now linked somewhere here. The second one, let's scroll up a little bit more. This is something I use every single day. And this is this one, sync audio with video in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So I'm shooting something here on my camera. I'm also recording on my iPad. Maybe there's another camera and you wanna bring this into your program. And there's a couple of ways how you can do this, but one of the easiest ways I explain in this video, how you can sync audio and video from multiple cameras, boom, doing this. And there's another video as well with multicam, if you are really into multicam, but yeah, I will link this all in the description. That's number two, you should definitely know. Then number three is something very important that people don't really understand. Back in Christmas, uh, back in December, something bad happened to me. I was already in the run of like, I don't know, 20 videos or something, and I lost all of my files. This was a lesson that hurt a lot. And in this video, lost everything, avoid these mistakes. I show you what you have to do for setting up your project on DaVinci Resolve on an iPad so that is never happening to you. So this is a must watch if you're new with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and you wanna avoid the same mistake that happened to me. So watch this one, it's all in the description as well. Video number four. Oh yeah, this is also very important and a question I get a lot. I mean, iPads are expensive. I only have the 11 inch iPad with 256 gigabytes. That's okay for editing and I'm also using my external hard drive, the SSD, so lots of my projects are sitting here, then it works fine. But you will run in the issue that your iPad will be full of storage. So what can you do? In this video, delete cache files and change cache file directory from DaVinci Resolve. I will show you how you can even put the cache files onto your SSD or delete everything on your iPad, especially if you have even less capacity than 256. Many people also ask me like, how many gigabytes should I have? I mean, for video editing, as most as you can get, right? But iPads are expensive. So I don't know if I would spend for the one terabyte or the two terabyte version that much money because you can get two terabytes here on a fast SSD and I work on those projects there. But there's one advantage if you buy a one terabyte iPad then you also get 16 gigabytes of RAM because under one terabyte, all the iPads, all the iPads Pro only have eight gigabyte of RAM. And there's actually, um, oh yeah, this is a bonus. There's actually, I, I think I showed this here in this video, one month later, I show you a hack how you can get more performance out of your iPad, especially if you have the 16 gigabyte RAM version. So watch this one as well. I would, would put this into, let's write this down one month later. Yeah, so, and the last one, there's so many videos here, just go to the archive, you also find the playlist, and there's even more videos about learning DaVinci Resolve in the masterclass that we have from beginner to advanced, so there's a link in the description as well. And oh yeah, we are almost ready moving over to the new platform, then everything will be on Course Creator 360, and then I will reevaluate the price point because I created also a couple of new products, like for example, the transition pack, the film grain pack in all different uh, eight millimeter, 60 millimeter, uh, 35 millimeter that you can use. And also the LUTs pack. Anyway, and there will be more in the future as well. So consider if you wanna learn DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, 
getting the masterclass um, better sooner than later. And one more video that is one of the most questioned videos over the time now, over the three months, was this one. Is there a magic mask in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? And why I choose this now as video number five is because this shows you how powerful DaVinci Resolve on the iPad really is. Yes, you need the studio version for that. Magic Mask doesn't work on the free version, but come on, eh? I paid Premiere Pro for the last six years, every month, sometimes 50 bucks a month. There are some cheaper plans, so I, for the first couple of years I didn't pay 50, but if you calculate that, how much money I spend for Adobe software, and the studio license cost, I don't know, what was it on the iPad? 130? 200? I forgot the price. Somewhere in my videos I talked about this as well. Please let me know in, those, in the comments. It is a no-brainer for me. Seriously. Blackmagic doesn't make money with this software. Blackmagic makes money because you become a customer of their brand. If you become a video editor and you love what they're doing with, the, with, like with all the film equipment that they have, the cameras and everything, then it's amazing the business strategy that they have. This is basically their front end offer. They hook you in. It's an amazing software. It is really, I love it. And yeah, so will you when you start using it anyway. Definitely check out the videos that I put now in the description and welcome again to this channel and welcome to the DaVinci Resolve family. Oh yeah, we have a Facebook group. Check out the link in the description. We also have a Discord channel. So check out the community as well. I would love to do more for the community. I'm working every day on those videos. So if you want to help me building that community, be more proactive, please uh, reach out to me, write me, maybe an Instagram here at X. Todd Lima, you will find a link in the description as well. And then just write me, maybe we can figure out something how we can make this community experience even better because I'm, I'm honest with you, creating daily two videos at the moment and also having this new platform, it just takes all of my time at the moment. So I'm, I can't be so active in the group right now. So I would love to have you guys on board because we are all in this journey together. Anyway, that's it from me today. Uh, and for all the people who watched all the other videos and you still watch this video, thank you for being part of that family and that journey. This is a hell of a ride. Really cool. And I love that we have DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Bye.